Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna try to install the latest version of Ubuntu desktop which is version 24.04. So are you ready? Let's get started. So of course you have to go to the Ubuntu website which is ubuntu.com slash download in order to download this Ubuntu version 24.04 which is LTC version which means uh, long term support version okay and LTS means also five years as you can see here five years of free security and maintenance updates okay so the download button here where you can download the ISO image it's about six gigabytes okay and of course here you can take a look at what's new on this version so we have a new desktop installer we have new app center we have also the GNOME 46 version okay we have some advanced Active Directory group policy object support and also some experimental support for TPM backup for disk encryption okay and the system requirement is 2 GHz of dual core processor and 4 GB of system memory. Okay, so actually, this uh, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS is called, as you can see here at the bottom, is called actually uh, Noble Nombad. So, this is the version name. Okay. So after you download the ISO image, you have to upload that to your uh, actually Proxmox storage. Okay. So here I am on my Proxmox web GUI. So I will go actually to the storage and I will try to upload the ISO image. You can also download it from the URL. So you can just copy and paste the URL from the website and copy it here. But me, as I have downloaded ISO image, I have to upload it. So I will click on this upload button and I will select the file that I just downloaded from the Ubuntu website. So you can see this is the file Ubuntu 24.04 desktop. So I will open it. So as you can see, the file size is almost 6 gigabytes and I will upload it. Okay. So we will wait for the process to be completed in order to proceed with the installation. So now as you can see the upload is almost done so we can proceed with the rest of the installation okay so the task is okay so I can get rid of this window here and you can see that indeed we have uploaded our ISO file okay so now let's get started in order to create our VMAP so I'll create the VM with this button here. So create VM. So here we choose the node where we're gonna put our VM. So I have only one here. And this is also the VM ID. So you can choose whatever you want. So I'll keep with the default one. And here you have to name your uh, actually VM. So I'll call it just Ubuntu 24. 04 okay actually okay so i will go next so here for the os we have to choose iso image that we have just uploaded so this is ubuntu 24.04 desktop iso and the type of the guest os is of course linux and the version is 6. Uh, something so I guess uh, the version of the camera will be actually 6.6 .6, okay so we'll go next here for the system we're gonna choose as the BIOS the default one which is C BIOS okay 
and also we can check this box here QMU agent okay so then I will go next for the disk I will keep with the default so I will keep this 32 gigabytes of disk size okay then I will go next for the CPU for the CPU I can choose for example two cores and for the type I can also keep with the default or I can just choose uh, a host as type for the memory I guess 2 gigabytes is enough for me so I will go next and also for the network I will keep the default okay so finally we have here summary of all the options that we have chosen so I will click finish in order to create the VM and you can see here in our uh, Ubuntu or actually Proxmox VM has been created with actually the ID 141 okay so we can take a look at the hardware section here to see all the configuration that we have made so we can now proceed with the start so let's start this VM and see what we get so I will click here start VM and I will click also the console in order to see what we get so this is the first screen that we get so of course we have to install or try Ubuntu so let's choose this option here So after that we get this screen here which actually will prompt us for installing Ubuntu desktop 24.04 okay So here we have the welcome screen in order to install actually Ubuntu. So here we have to choose the language, so I will keep with English. I will go next. Then here is some accessibility in Ubuntu that we can choose from, but I will keep with the default. For the keyboard, I have US keyboard, so it's good for me so do not connect to the internet for now okay and now we're gonna install Ubuntu okay you have also the option to try it without making any changes to your computer but me I want to install it how would you like to install Ubuntu so of course we choose the interactive installation and we will keep just with the default selection we don't want any extended uh, selection we can also install some third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware if you have for installing for example Ubuntu on your uh, laptop or something like that you can choose these options here so I will go next so I can uh, raise the disk and install Ubuntu actually so I will start from scratch and here we have to create an account so I will create just one for example this one here and for the password I will use the famous one which is password as you can see here With, ok so let's repeat that so I guess it's ok so here I can choose the computer name if I want so for example Ubuntu 24 ok so I guess everything is ok so let's go next so this is the time zone doesn't matter so I will go next then I will proceed with the install as you can see now so now Ubuntu will be installed
so as you can see now Ubuntu 24.04 LTS is installed and ready to use so all we have to do is to restart it now So I just clicked enter in order to uh, launch the process. So now we have our login, so we'll choose the account and we input the password. So I inputted my password. So this is our environment, our desktop Ubuntu actually. So we have a welcome screen here. So we can go next if you want. So this is our uh, fresh install of uh, actually Ubuntu 24.04 so we have everything we need. So this is our file and of course we have our terminal that we can use for uh, further installation. Let me just take a look at the kernel version here. So it's using kernel 6.8 actually, okay. So as you can see it was pretty easy to install Ubuntu 24.04 on Proxmox. So you can go here and show the apps, so you can go for example to the settings and take a look at your hardware if you want. So this is the system that we actually installed our Ubuntu. So that was just a quick video to show you how to install Ubuntu Desktop 24.04 LTS on Proxmox. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.